so today is the fourth sorry the third of december because yesterday was the second and yesterday was um cyber monday so today is the third of december and i'm off to get uh, some fabric i'm going to be making a tool skirt today and for today's tutorial i want to try something slightly different i want to mix up sort of vlog style with my normal like over the top filming like style and see how that works i just want to make it more conversational so it's a bit more fun to watch so i'm going to grab Ooh, delivery i'm off to fabric land which is not too far from where i live i'm going for either soft blue or red i just can't really decide i know red is very sort of like you know christmasy but i already have a soft blue corset that i know would pair well like style wise with the two skirts so i don't just know what i want to do but we'll see we'll decide when i get there <laughs> now you can see my my mini christmas tree on the back george and i set up the tree last night and i have my stockings i actually did a tutorial for that last two years but i made it private again no particular reason but i'm back home now i have my fabrics here ready to start sewing just going to show you guys what i got i ended up going with red because i didn't just want to confuse myself i have the soft red net i got six meters of this one i have the the harder tougher one that would give the skirt a bit more volume i got two meters of those and i got like simple satin lining i got a meter of that and um, for the waistband keeping things rather simple i'm just going to be doing a good old elastic this is about two inches in terms of width i just had elastic at home so i just pulled that out i'm going to be working with this today so for the pattern what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be making the waist slightly wider than my actual waistline so it's easier to get into the skirt so the waistline of like the tool the net and the lining and then the elastic band itself will be my actual waist sort of measurement because if i make the waistline of the skirts all my measurements it's going to be really tight to get into even if i fix the elastic band so i'm going to be working with about 33 35 waists um circumference to make the pattern for the circle skirt so i'm going to do that quickly and then cut my layers of skirts i'm thinking six layers of the soft net and two layers of the hard net and then a layer of lining underneath so let's go ahead and get started christmas is in the air in the air <laughs> First up, I'm going to be making the pattern for the circle skirt. I already have a detailed tutorial where I show you how to calculate the radius using your waistline as the circumference. So you are able to draw in a curve along one edge of pattern paper to plan your circle skirt. But I ended up arriving at six inches for my radius because I wanted the waistline to be a little bit wider. So it's easier to get into when I fit my elastic onto this waistline so I'm just going across and marking six inches all the way across from that starting edge and then I'm going to be connecting my dashed points together and this curve is going to become my waistline the amazing thing with uh, circle skirts is you just have to place this pattern on a piece of fabric that has two folded edges so you cut out one full circle 
For the skirt length, I decided to go with 21 inches because I wanted it just to be right on my knee and not too long or too short. So I'm just marking 21 inches from my waistline downwards and then I'm going to be connecting those marked points together and that is going to become the hemline of my skirt like i said if you haven't seen a circle skirt tutorial before i'm going to be linking it down below so you go check that out and this would make a lot more sense to you in case you want to make your own pattern using your own measurements i went ahead to cut out my pattern and this is what i'm going to be using to cut the layers of my skirt as well as the lining okay so i have folded the tool in several layers and i folded it in such a way that there's a folded edge on that side and on this second side here so when i cut the waistline off and the hemline we have circles that we just need to join around the waist to the waistband so i have folded my six meters of tool like so this particular tool was a very like long um, width, was very wide width, sorry. So like this is actually, this is half of the fabric width, which was a great thing. So I end up cutting out more layers for my tool skirt. I'm just going in now to cut out my soft net, which is like the first couple of layers. I'm cutting along the hemline and I'm cutting along the waistline as well. And I should end up with six full circles that I'm going to join together along the waist. So these are all of my skirt pieces. We have our six layers of soft net. You can actually cut a few more if you have more fabric and you want your skirt to be poofier. I ended up with 21 inches for the main top layer of the skirt for the hard net underneath i cut it slightly shorter by about four inches and i had two layers of the hard net for the lining i have just one layer and it's the same length as our hard net the waistband itself is 30.5 inches which is about my waist measurement so in terms of assembly i'm just going here to pin all of the soft net layers together and you want to take your time doing this because that net is ever so soft and it moves like crazy so once you have them all pinned together you can just go ahead and do like a loose stitch just to just hold everything in place so you can connect this to your hard net and your lining so these are all of my layers stitched up together it looks so cute already I, I i can't even deal and i'm going to go ahead and work on the hard net as well as the lining so i'm going ahead to lay out my two layers of hard nets and just like we did with the soft ones i've layered my lining over this and i'm going to be sewing all three layers together along the waistline which is the inner circle on roughly one centimeter seam allowance using the longest stitch because this is just to sort of join everything and keep them in place so when you sew this up onto your waistband and nothing sort of slips out I'm going to go ahead and stitch my elastic waistband close and I'm going to be sewing this first off about on the half an inch seam allowance and then turn that around like this and use a zigzag stitch to conceal the open edge of that elastic. So this will help you to create a nice finished round waistband that you can go ahead to stitch into the waistline of your skirt so i have my soft net layers here i'm going to layer the hard net um, against this like so and have the lining on the inside so the skirt feels good on the inside too but to prevent the waist from like scratching against your skin i went ahead to overlock all of the layers together so we have one finished seam along the waistline which we can connect to our elastic waistband so i'm just doing this on my overlocker here and when i arrive at the end i'm just going to cut out the thread and this is what the skirt looks like so i'm going to grab my elastic and starting from one end i'm just pinning the elastic over that waist seam so it conceals the waist seam on the inside and we're going to be top stitching the skirt waistline to the elastic band like so it is 5 p.m now you can tell from my face that I'm actually getting tired. 
um i'm almost done with the skirt actually i just have to fix the waistband to the layers of toe net and lining and so far it's looking it's looking really good i think the only thing that i've done differently is i would have added or i should have added more layers of soft net because i ended up with nine layers in total i think i could have easily done 10 to 15 or even 20 if i wanted it really big and poofy but it looks really good at least in this state i should be able to wear it with tights and shoes and a jumper for like the festive season but if you want it to be poofy and big add more layers i definitely co-sign on adding more layers if you want it nice and big on the bottom but yeah i'm gonna stitch the waistband into the skirt and finish it up and show you guys what the final outcome actually looks like so i'm going in now to top stitch my elastic waistband into the skirt waistline like so and as you stitch just remember to check that you're actually sewing the waistline of the skirt into that elastic waistband there'll be certain points where you have to stretch the elastic out a little to sewing that waistband because remember we made the waistband a little bit wider than the elastic itself so i'm just going in here to fold and sew the hemline of the lining if you have an overlocker you can overlock this seam here but i decided folding and sewing was the way to go for today so i've put on the skirt to check that i'm happy with the waistband and the length and the lining and sort of everything else and i just put on some heels so that gives me an idea of what this would look like if i actually wear it out and I'm not actually very pleased with the outcome. The lining is on the short side, that's the only thing I would say. But since I would be wearing this skirt in the winter anyways, I almost likely be wearing tights underneath the skirt with like a jumper and the jacket over it. So this is lovely. This is really, really nice. This is so cute. I'm glad I went to the red actually because I was confused for a moment but this is perfect for you know going for a Christmas dinner just a simple top I don't even have to wear heels I could almost wear flats if I wanted to because the skirt is on the short side but yes that's it my tool skirt ready <laughs> So that's it for the tool skirt tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video i hope you enjoyed this more laid back vlog style if you did give this video a thumbs up share your feedback down below and for any of you who is in the uk around london on the 14th and 15th of december i'm going to be having not really going to be i'm going to be part of a craft fair organized by renegade craft it's going to be at the truman beery from 11 to 5 pm on the 14th and 15th i'm going to be there with the pieces from the collection so make sure to come down try them on shop christmas presents and they're going to be other amazing like designers and makers there as well entry is free so you just have to literally turn up <laughs> and it's indoors so don't worry you won't be out in the freezing cold but if you're going to be coming do let me know if you want to surprise me i'm up well for surprises as well but i can't wait to meet you guys there's going to be kind of like a meet and greet and then we can chat some more about the collection and there are still going to be two new pieces that's all i can say two new pieces i'm not going to tell you what they are <laughs> what they're like but if you want to see them in person and try them on make sure to come down to the renegade craft fair on the 14th and 15th of december so i'll see you guys in my next one have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are and happy holidays bye